This movie gives a brief explanation of motion interpolation based on geostatistics. The previews show various types of motion editing using our method. Motions are interactively generated by changing constraints such as target positions of end effectors and the shapes of stairs. Motion samples are usually parameterized in multivariate space and are interpolated by a smoothing technique. For example, radial basis functions ensure continuous distribution, but not a smooth shape. However, our new method assures smoother and more accurate distribution because of the statistical analysis of motion variations. This example parameterizes reaching motions with respect to the heights and directional angles of target positions. This shows the differences in the final hand positions between the synthesized motions with radial basis functions and the desired target positions. This mesh indicates the distribution of final hand positions. Here you can see the distorted shapes, especially near the samples of yellow spheres and behind the body. This kind of error in the target position is considerably reduced by our method, and the distribution is very smooth, even behind the body. Our method tries to predict only the final target position. However, our interpolation can predict the overall motion more accurately than existing methods, as demonstrated here. The synthesized motions are verified using cross-validation, that is, by excluding the target sample from the training dataset. This color map indicates the reliability of predictions. Our method can estimate the reliability at every motion frame. Notice that the shape of the map indicates the predicted intermediate hand positions, which change smoothly over time. The next sample generates gate motions by giving the final root position after two strides. Notice that our method has less foot sliding than radial basis function interpolation. This shows the usefulness of prediction reliability. Motion samples are gradually reduced from 69 to 29 using a cross-validation. The accuracy of the foot positions is maintained even after reducing samples. Now we demonstrate more detailed control over gate generation by using two footprints. The control space is four-dimensional, but our method is still effective even for such a high-dimensional space. Here we show a novel parameterization of a motion involving carrying a box from one position to another. The interpolation is performed in a four-dimensional space, defined by the start and end positions of the transferred box. Notice that both hand positions are correctly fixed on the moving box. This editing can be done in real time. This demonstration synthesizes gates on stairs. The motion is parameterized by the heights and widths of two steps. We can edit various types of walking up and down, for example, by interactively changing the shape of each step. Notice that this interactive editing can also be done in real time. For generating gates on an arbitrary number of steps, the resulting motions are interpolated during their first and second half phase with ease in and ease out functions. This shows the availability of motion generation from an arbitrary sequence of constraints.